Hi everyone, my name is Precious and welcome to yet another installment of Youth Incorporate by Precious Shabangu. Well, you need to get yourself a mentor. That's a serious, you need to get yourself a mentor. I've mentioned previously that if you are to succeed and strive in your corporate journey, you're going to need different stakeholders and different people to play different roles in assisting you um, to get to where you want to be. And one of those people, and I have previously mentioned that, you know, um, I'm going to have, do a video about this. And as a girl that keeps her promises, here I am talking to you guys about why you need a mentor but most importantly you know the role that a mentor plays um in your journey so many people have different understandings of what a mentor is and that's fine um however i think what could be agreed on generally is that a mentor is someone who's more experienced than yourself within the same industry or within the same business environment who's kind of been doing this you know for a very long time and they can tell you because they know better because of their experiences in that space and true to the nature of this channel i'm about sharing experiences that have helped me strive and perhaps that will help you strive in your own corporate journey so first of all, what is important is that it's not enough to say you want a mentor, okay? It's not enough. Actually, it's not even enough to just get one. What is enough is actually utilizing the mentor that you get, but actually identifying the reasons as to why you need a mentor. Okay, first of all, if they are going to be a more experienced person, and in my experience, they are very busy, okay? And time is money and time is one of the most valuable resources a person can actually give you. So when you identify a mentor and you then decide you want them to mentor you, please don't go with them not knowing or to them rather not knowing what it is that you want to achieve in your journey of mentorship. And people do it differently. But I'll turn, in my own experience, it is important that you sit down you sit down and identify a person that is aligned with where you are and where you want to go right and how you do is that you need to know yourself you need to sit down and say i want to achieve a b c and z and to do that i would need this individual because they have done something similar okay so now you are matching what you want to do and what this person has done and I'll, you know ultimately I would like to believe that if you match this right and you do it right, you'd find yourself in a situation where if this person's acceleration journey was 10 years, right? But they share with you how they went about doing it and maybe share openly what their errors and their mistakes were in that journey. You are most likely to do or go through a similar journey in like five years. Isn't that great? Because we're quick on this time, right? Time is money and you want to get there and you want to really accelerate. Um, so identify first a person who's, who's done through, who's gone through something similar and they can share their journey in how they did what they did and then learn from them. But once you have identified this person, you need to approach them knowing what you want to achieve and then set a schedule. That is very important because it's in your hands. So you first, when you talk to them for the first time, ask for their commitment as far as, you know, doing mentoring you and guys, it is absolutely okay to be told no. Matter of fact, no one ever dies from saying no. So let's say you identify this person. You think, you know what, they'll be the best for, for mentoring me in terms of my journey. And you go to that person and the person says, no, I don't have the time. You must count that a blessing because what you do not want to do is have someone commit to be your mentor and actually they not make the time to do the mentorship uh, the mentorship sessions with you so rather ensure that you ask them first don't feel that you're entitled to their time or you're the enti you're entitled to their mentoring no you are not however if you ask and they say yes then when you now have those sessions do not waste their time by not knowing what you want to discuss per session and how you want to discuss those things with that person make sure that you have that on lockdown and one of the things that you actually also need to do so you've identified your mentor right you've had a conversation with them and they've agreed that you know they want to do this with you now you've scheduled a regular sessions with them that have an agenda that you stick to and that you you converse about and you have you know um feedback like an an an, an, an inwards and outward type of feedback uh you have you have that in place and then now 
you are dealing you see that you've done all of those things but you realize you know what it's actually not working because one of the things that you need to be comfortable with is failing fast or realize nothing is not working out but don't just do it have a conversation with this person and say look i feel that you know even though we had set and agreed on having maybe one session a month it's now been six months and we've actually had only one session or maybe two out of six it doesn't make sense to continue with that type of mentorship relationship right so you need to make sure that you iron those things out as and when they occur another important element is that i think that there is no limit to a number of mentors yes you want to have like a controlled type of um mentorship the uh, relationship with your mentor and your your mentor however it's not to say that you can have you cannot have more than one mentor so what i would suggest is that you have a mentor that like maybe is directly within the business that you work in within the department and then you have another mentor maybe outside of your business and the company that you work for but within the same industry you know what i'm saying so if you're in the banking or in the financial services um, industry you'd get someone within your work and then you get someone else in another maybe bank but then in this you no know, in the financial services type of um environment or industry that way you get a broader type of 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 of, of, of experiences uh, and lessons coming through to you you're making sure that in that regard you have you know different people to give you different elements and different perspectives and context because sometimes some uh, experiences can be blinded to what or where that person is right so get yourself a variety i think lastly right i just wanted to say that they are important right but they need to also think that you mentor you you being mentored by them is important to them then you have a beneficial relationship with that person and guys i want to always take it to you it's about you do you really want this do are you really committed to do this do not waste people's time but they're important they're important because they will tell you about things that they've experienced and experience is the best teacher they'll tell you about things that they've experienced and how they overcame those things and in my own experiences i've had people share with me i've had mentors share with me what they've experienced and how they overcame and when i was faced with similar situations i knew better because guys when you know better you do better so that is exactly what a mentor does they help you know better so you can do better and if you do better what you get to do is strive in the corporate jungle with that being said that's it for me for now i will be doing another video about a sponsor so now you have a mentor what about a sponsor and yes there is a different and i will touch on that in the next video thank you so much for making the time to watch this video go out there get yourself a mentor but come right at your mentor and make the most out of the experience because when you know better you definitely do do better until next time bye guys